Thanks for taking a moment to join for when you come in to this divine space of just a pure emptiness of everything and thanks for making the effort to watch this to show up And those of you that know me know how <clears throat> we roll with the energies raw and real live in the moment. And quite often I will do writing just within an hour and a half before coming on will come the information. That's been the last two videos. And hope you're able to see the one I did 24 hours ago <clears throat> with many of you it's on YouTube Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide the pre 21st of the 12th and it was an amazing live video as well if you haven't seen it go and enjoy that one it was so good it was so good as a welcome to the 21st of the 12th the great conjunction a triple conjunction so I just welcome you all here to this sacred divine space as I tune in and feeling more because we have time there'll be much releasing the burping the coughing the throat clearing the chimes the energy shifting the shapeshifter energies the shaman energies the crow medicine energies um, there were so many crows here in Australia. We um, had our kookaburras and our beautiful crows, and um, it was a specific energy that um, the crow brought. That if they were still a whole heap of them nearby were cawing, if they were still there, I was actually going to come on with them in the background, but they ceased just before, and I just felt that energy come through. Um, so if you look at the crow, uh, it's a secret of magic of creation is calling. So there's, there's so many messages. I oh, thank you. The artwork for the 21st, it is divinely beautiful that Felix from Truth Rebel Art and I created divinely came through us layer after layer after layer the energy. He is amazing 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 i call him a wizard he's just able to just you know so that helped heal you waking up in pain well that's wonderful that you shift yes things are getting stranger and more wonderful <coughs> crow intrigues us and they can aggravate us they and their other family members the raven have a great mysticism and mythology about them so there's a lot of angering an aggravation with family energies at the moment and symbols of creation and spiritual strength they remind us to look for opportunities to create and manifest the magic of life they are messages calling to us about the creation and magic that is live within our world every day and available to us and what is thank you what is 21 of 21 because i get given what to call it energetically the joy and passion in a new way will come for you if you have not already started feeling it and 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 what i'm talking about is i'd lost that inner oomph and joy and passion in, in, in how I love to walk. I love to do my walks. I love to do my exercise. I um, fitness fanatic, adrenaline junkie with, with fitness when I was in the military um, mid 80s, um, mid to late, you know, in the later 80s and, and being the quite the only female so many times at a gym 
and just um, and the running and everything like that and just feeling that energy that's what I'm talking about I felt like I'd lost it for a very long time like 30 years and then and and and, and I'd had I had it after that time strongly yet I just recently that's what I'm talking about I've recently refound that joy and that passion it's only because we're coming up to the 21st of the 12th and the ending of the karmic cycles everything was like layers and blankets of energy and 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 the family energies and and going um, back to the that 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 inner childhood wounding and then the galactic child and the and 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 the soul child is the two combining in a new cosmic womb that was what came through yesterday that came through live it was news to me when I delivered it too um, it, it, it's me breaking energy and and words from the spiritual thank you Joanne again blah 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 into real terms and a real use of, of writing because I read another um, post so there's a big healing as I'm talking there's sprinkles and there's healing and there's lots going on just lots of little colors and rainbow serpent energy is just protecting us in this divine space each one of these is a pure channeling direct from the divine of the highest vibration on the planet for you this is all about you you for you to mirror back to you your own healing and not have all these energy facets out to everyone flip them and give you yourself your own divine healing energy first is paramount and so very important so who needed to hear that because that's what came through seven minutes let's keep going so that was what it was so whew, big shift So when I wrote before I came on, this is what came, 1.5 hours to go. And as per yesterday's pre-21st of the 12th, 2020 live, I have some writing to share to come through. This time I'm blank is what has come. So yesterday it was ready to go, hour and a half. Okay, if I'm ready now, that's there's time to come. There's something else to come through. And that's when that direct energy that comes through that I table and share and then I'm reading and sharing with you that that's new that only commenced in yesterday's live and now today's again it's fun it's a new way it's a different way so thanks again for showing up feeling the pull of the divine energy of we are one for the whole planet globally every single one of these goes out globally to the planet in new unity energies it's not a new thing here with me with the wine break this is not new for others it's new for many of us it's not however what many of us is we're now coming together new unity energies together and we're creating a new zero point because the key to unity consciousness is zero point is the key to unity consciousness We are creating a, a brand new energy and it's about within ourselves. And we know these words, stay with me here. We know these words. It's creating it here and letting it flow to the out, outer. Stay with me. Make these beyond words and just reading words. Make let's let this be of what I call these are of beyond beyond energies that I'm so blessed that I'm moving with the new energies firstly to the planet. Whereas what I was, was, has written already is coming up as memories and I'm sharing with everyone, they're going, that's resonating for now. Yes. So what I'm saying, this is really exciting. I've got something new to bring through every single time while ever I've got breath, while ever I'm alive on this planet. That is infinite and that's what's wonderful and exciting. It's about... Um, the focus today is what's come through again is about getting out of the head when most souls the majority shift that's when I shift what I'm sharing about but again let me share what I wrote okay here we go so I'm just linking in now so many scattered energies completely 
pull all your inner energy within and watch or focus on what are you thinking where is your attention drifting to what are your private and sacred thoughts going on about inside there is a lot of anger that is being released for humanity collectively with the family energies that's amplified for us and what has been shown to me recently is due to that and souls not knowing how to handle the anger or they have so much anger and rage burning inside of them that actually not able to come in and ground fully so see if that is for you obviously that was a golden key what i just said natalie <laughs> i love the pictures you too lisa yeah okay it's nice I know we are a minority of souls that do this as others are living the best they can. We have a different role and role here. What am I talking about here? Okay, I'm talking about other souls who are not um, able to focus inwards. I'm talking about souls that are going through so much look just trauma and distress that are not awakening like us and are not talking consciously like we are and meeting up here with these life healing videos of what's happening on the planet and we're having a tough time let alone those that are not so it's re remembering about vibrational energies is another focus today this is to help free for your passion and joy to come back in got to clear a lot of layers we're going to do this today It's about feeling. Bless you, Karina. Thank you, because I will select comments and resonate to what people share. It's about the energies. Much anger felt in the last couple of days. Not nice to feel, but it's good to shift. Uh, no, it's not. However, if we don't feel that anger to release it, it ain't going to shift. End of story. Feel it. Release it. Feel it. Release it. Feel it. Let it release. It's not pleasant. Because what, after, what comes after that is, are you ready to feel loneliness on a new level again? Because I just did this morning globally the loneliness I felt come through me and I write about that I'll share about more soon the energy has arrived and commenced for you to feel start to feel that joy and passion deep within mine commenced recently as I shared before, after I had not that deep inner feeling for over 20 years in this new way, so much of the new has already arrived. For those of you right here and now watching and listening to this, yes, you. It's here for you right now. Okay? You can read and research and look up whatever you want. Bless you, Toro. Many of us do. A lot of have the church and the religious programming as well. Anger, judgment resentments all the family energies releasing 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 which is reflecting at our cells self-sabotage is also high and rife and dear virgos who are born under the virgos who have those virgo traits you don't have to be a virgo to have this in you but i just say generally for the virgos are struggling i have so many around me and they are struggling and they're at that precipice turning point of letting go of wanting to go deeper and understanding and why does that work and how does that work and going deeper and it's that logic and having things in boxes other star signs do people are born under those energies do that as well but these are the group of souls that are really struggling because it's in their like in the innate nature that they are like that it is them learning shit that's who i am that's how i operate i've been operating like that for a long time so what i say is work with that work with your isms your bit your shadow sides um work with those bits that make you so unique and different that make you perfect in your imperfections now we know these words we hear these words i'm taking everything below the iceberg a step and level deeper and further in real common sense consciousness understanding for you to uptake in your fucking human consciousness right here and now with me i'm tired and over the spiritual bullshit energies and i say that in so much respect of everybody that shares i talk about energies of bullshitting ourselves be aware 
I read some, another article the other day. Again, bless them in there, everybody in their roles and what they're doing. I'm talking about energy and moving into a new 5D earth energy. That's where I'm coming from. Okay, releasing that shadow energy and the 3D energies. I spoke about this in yesterday's live. A 3D earth and a 5D energy. And there's this stretching, joining energy in between. There is a picture on Facebook like that of those energies. And this is like the shadow and the lower vibrational energies. Yet people are still feeling and releasing the shadow energies and growing into the fifth dimensional energies. It's a process and it takes time. However... However, I'm going to share more about that in a minute. So stay with me because I've got some more juicy bits to share soon. I'm just giving you a little taste of a couple of things. <laughs> I know we are a minority of souls that feel and pick up so much with others and honestly many are needing to relearn from having the energy blinkers and antennas like that and go like this it's really is all about you 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 right here and now are you giving out a hundred or 50 and keeping 50 for you what's your 50 what's someone else's 50 Listen, no matter how far we go along, how far we progress, there's still bits and pieces. Many are learning about themselves newly, okay? That's beautiful, Michelle. You had a major life review. Um, called out yourself out and so much bullshit I hadn't seen before. You can't see it till you grow because it's your truth at the time. That's a beautiful thing to do when you do that and you grow and you go, shit. But really, if you feel back to where you were, you needed that bullshit for you to cope. We needed to compartmentalize much of our energies to cope from all the traumas. And see, on the 21st of the 12th, the Isis Essences will be bringing through a live divine healing for you to just tune in to and breathe and feel and join me here with you all to bring those energies and bring that healing in of all those wounds to bring those bits of our empowerment back to assist us with the emotional pain and trauma to be transformed and healed for a massive shift at a very deep soul level will come through purely directly for the divine for you to uptake whatever it is for you. It is a opening, it is a solstice, it is a portal, it is a gateway, it's a major conjunction, triple conjunction, it's a new age of Aquarius. The Anangu elders will be bringing through the Rainbow Serpent, Rainbow Bridge, new connection for the Rainbow Serpent to become the Rainbow Bridge. With a new solar logos energy coming in, I will be assisting with that distantly, yet with spirit and the divine as I have for many years to bring in the solar logos essence that Ian White, Australian bush flower essences created. I did speak to Ian and asked him to join us. It's his role and purpose if he does. And the solar logos essence will help bring about the disillusion of all the emotional and spiritual pain that is gathered in the bodies, hearts and minds of the human race. So to do that, we need to unite and come together with our intent energetically together in unity, new unity energies as... There will be another tribe that will be bringing through the magic box, being revealed of the crystals. The Palladians will reveal this new magic box healing. I loved seeing that written. And I've, I've loved reading all the other ceremonies and meditations um, because the Aboriginal prophecy was they needed 200,000 souls, light, energies, focus in love and unity. 
with the Uluru energies at that time, with Uluru as the focus, the Central Australia, where the originals, the aboriginals, the first humans to the planet arrived and came energetically linked with the Pleiadian energies. That is the new Atlantis rising energies is what I was let know this year is coming through there. This will also be working with Lemurian energies as well. And the Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide and all those of the new 144 New Light Paradigm group and energies of all of you, we will be anchoring in and bringing through in us showing up together. So I say share, 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 share that event. We have seven days. I wanted to... I uh, share about that months ago, weeks ago. No, seven days. What is it? Earth was created in seven days. That's all I'm going to say. We're not doing re. We're not doing a genesis. So this is brand new. We're in that seven days. In this seven days, once I shared the banner and the post yesterday, my whole body and energy and spirit soul just went, whew, and I. I'm feeling like a year's worth of energy come off me in these seven days till the twenty-first. And it's a shedding, and it's a shedding, and it's a releasing. Hence, it's so important for you to be away from everybody's energies. You do what you like. I'm not telling you what to do. You do what you like. And 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 really be in that heart of heart, sacred space for yourself. Be aware. Please don't go into self-sabotage. Please. So many are self-sabotaging. It took a little of pushing through so many energies to come onto this live. I'm going to talk about that more soon. To pull my energy back in of one, in, one foot in two worlds and living in that 3D reality. Yes, I know that's questionable and, you know, just go with me here. Um, the, yet this is our earthly human reality on the outside, yet on the inside for us is very, very different. And the change does really, really, truly begin with us physically now, as well as the follow through, okay? And again, I read a spiritual post the other day and they were talking about going really in depth and that's great for you intellectual people that want to hear all that intellectual information. I share bits about the mother father arc to explain a bit more because I've been asked to from above to break it down into here and now to energies that we can fucking just start to handle that we don't fully understand. I guarantee you, they're not fully feeling all of that stuff that's been written. It's coming from spirit. Where's the anchor to the soul and the human to ground this in, in real today, now terms in our human being for here and now? That's what's missing. We became too top heavy. We became too toppy heavy with spiritual information. Um, yes, I have on the actual uh, Michelle. I have sent a power power link on in the comments on that um, because I've added. I can't add it to the post because I made it as an ad, and I actually can't go in and alter and add it to that post. But I will add here after this video is finished. All uh, the um, PayPal link is you can, um, okay, I will share because a couple of you ask. You can go to PayPal and make an exchange at the Oracle Speaks at bigpond.com. If you can do it to that email, altogether lowercase the Oracle Speaks at bigpond.com. Thank you for asking. With the straddling, straddling, Deborah, with that, I got anchor into both. Allow the energy to flow between both and it'll help you get your power back. That, 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 that just came through, so I'll, I'll leave that one with you. Any more tips to grounding? Just pick golden, golden feet and golden roots into the ground. You need to be able to do it wherever you are. I know that helps to go outside to get on the grass. You need to do it wherever you are. That's about the hologram, darling. Picture the green grass under your feet that you're outside. You know, 3D earth hologram.
exactly. So, let me keep going here. Conscious self-sabotage pattern and behavior from one's head if we try to understand deeper what's going on for others. Okay, so I've written here Be conscious if you have a self-sabotage pattern and behavior from your head if you try to understand what's going on for others. If you are forgetting and relaxing because you want a connection and contact with another human being and doing that we just relax our energies and then we'll talk to someone and in that moment when we're relaxed we kind of forget that they're not at that vibration when we start talking and sharing has anyone noticed that um well that's a blessing michelle i'm the only one to consciously willing accepted energy from oh well bless you because that's from straight from above i'm on a mission from god so what a blessing to hear you you're so welcome because that's all about you. Thank you for sharing that with me. So, What I felt this morning was going over a event with some people the other night. I spoke about this yesterday as well. And it's about realizing that people are finding it hard. Stay with me here in this moment. I've got more to tell than these words. People are finding it hard to take compliments. Let me explain what I mean by this instead of, yeah, people are yeah, yeah, and, 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 and emotional bypassing. Stay with me. I'm telling a story. And this has become more so now than in past years. I'm talking very recent, very recent. I've noticed this. That in wanting to go out and just having contact with other human beings, our guard drops a little relaxing. There's no connection energetically. When I went that through for myself recently, I reached another level of loneliness just this morning that I felt released out of every energy center out of my body for a moment and I went oh, I just felt that loneliness again on another level I've shared before it's only twice that I've ever felt this like that so that's how big this is that's how new this is as a template I felt that before in my ascension and I've shared with others you need to feel the loneliness it's part of ascension it's not a nice feeling to feel and you'll know the one I mean it's different to being alone it's an inner sacred divine loneliness and if you say oh yeah I've been feeling that for years you've missed what I'm saying here it's not that one okay it is a moment I will share what it is for me and then you can work with what it is for you okay in myself which I always do as a template it's all about me 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 because it's all about you 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 about we so in learning I was bringing through something new to the planet that nobody else did I went searching and looking because I didn't know that nobody come and delivered it nobody told me outright I had to figure it out that's why I say be a seeker for your soul and figure it out however nowadays don't go too deeply I went deeply as I needed to for back then my ascension was different to yours now because I've been in fifth dimensional new earth energies already 13 years ago I shifted into fifth dimensional energies within myself to be in what we call ninth dimensional energies 
it's just a, I am a very high vibration. I am the highest vibration on the planet in breaking through a new link from spirit to soul. It just is what it is. It's easy when we accept it, when it's energy, when there's no comparing and there's no ego, no jealousy. It just is what it is. So take a moment to honor and respect me sharing that with you as my divine truth. It's taken a lot of struggle for me to share that. I was criticized, I was ridiculed, I was savagely, energetically attacked, shut out, shut down, where I've gone, you know what, I'm going to bring up my own new paradigm because no one else is being so fucking raw and real like me and I swear and I mightn't be everyone's cup of tea and there'll be people that won't like me in the way, whatever, whatever. And that's okay. That's why I love that you're here with me so when I realized and I looked and took me a long time I then felt an instant a loneliness that I couldn't talk to anyone back then about what I was going through because I was bringing something newly through the planet I remember learning that and realizing shit and through messages and other people telling me it was a combination of many things I'm giving you the end result of a lot of steps and stages and messages and visions and people telling me things and giving messages that I knew that no one else knew. So there was a lot to what I'm delivering here is what I want to say. So it's a big thing because I want to sh wanted to shout out my excitement to the world and then that's when the attacks came. And then I learned how ugly it is out there. How ugly, ugly, ugly. I just came from this loving space. Now these bit, I know you can relate to these bits, what I'm saying as I'm talking about bringing something new to the planet. So I want you to know so you don't feel alone. No fucking way. I did it so you don't need to do what I did. We don't have time for that anymore. It was my role. You're welcome. I wouldn't have it any way, any other way. 25 years consciously. So, yeah, you know, same thing. I go home and I'm still like a little girl with my mum. <laughs> but that little girl's learned to get stronger, you know. And, okay, big shift happening. Some ISIS energy is actually coming through right now. Here we go. Feel an uptake, the pink, 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 pink. Oh, feel that, feel that, feel that. Come up, up from your solar plexus. It's just beautiful pink energy releasing all the way from your tummy, your heart, your throat, and tilt your head back and galactically release and feel. Oh, and allow the energy to flow through you, the pink, 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 pink. It felt so good. Here and now, here and now here and now here and now i have made sure that you don't have to pay for these weekly lives i have made sure that there is no room for anybody to say i don't have the money i don't have this yes you do yet there has been no excuse for anyone wanting it's just about people knowing that's why i say share 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 gifting 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 like follow subscribe youtube anastasia blue beyond guide soon more is going to be pouring through there i've got to catch up with the information i'm giving the i've been given the answers firstly and then i catch up with what this means as an ancient future scribe i get it future and then i anchor it in to now and then we grow into it and i share and i love working like that because this is beyond beyond words energies now i'm in my fucking element we are in our element now. This is why you can allow, and I assure you, you will find, because I wish someone said this to me, and most recently and years ago, that's why I'm saying, you will find your joy and passion again. And that's the exciting news. I wish I had someone to tell me that. Hear raw and real in the human being linking in with the spiritual information being shared. No one else on the planet does this. And I know that and I love it and I own it and I'm rocking it because I'm right here with you. There's no jealousy in comparison. We're side by side <laughs> to tell you how fucking magnificent and beautiful you are too. This is me talking to another me to you to giving you and I could cry. I can feel tears. I can feel your tears, everyone. Okay. 
Oh, thanks, Deborah. Thank you, beautiful. And it's been hard, 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 hard. I wanted to be like others and I wanted to be famous and on the world stage and have books. I wanted all that. You can't stop me. Why wouldn't I want that when I was shown I was going to be on stage and books and this, that? I had to, and it was a part of me. And this is my world stage because I was born for the stage. I was born for this. That's why I say you were born for this. You were born ready. Start before you feel you're ready. You were born ready. Faith and trust, faith and trust, honestly. And I even joined the military to take it one step further to have another whole life experience with the bullying and the abuse and everything and post-traumatic stress and highest tribunal case in Australia with a female creating a rule in parliament for all the other females in Australia. Like I suffered, 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 sold contracts, suffered. Well, that fucking ended and finished on the 16th of October energetically firstly to the planet the flow on it is now the human being it goes spirit soul mental emotional physical the last place to feel is the physical yet also unexpressed emotions is what causes physical disease as well let me keep reading Whew. shift 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 thank you for being here I had to let go of the videos, the books, the, the everything that people were saying, I can see on the stage, I can see this years ago. And feeling that and seeing the Dalai Lama live when I got gifted Gold Cross tickets years ago and I went, oh, that's me. That was huge. The, Eddie Murphy was the only other person I've heard say that when he saw Richard Pryor and I went, fuck, that's what happened to me. That moment i just knew that longing but it's not for everybody it's for me to be here sharing with you in the videos and lives please stop putting pressure on yourself please stop putting pressure on yourself thank you georgia <laughs> Thank you, Becky. When I did my hypnotherapy in my um, psychotherapist course, um, my voice was that hypnotic that I was given someone from their business and they had to call her in because he listened to me so much she'd never seen someone that was learning about it able to take someone down that deep and apparently I was born there you go I was born with the vocal tones that I do that makes it that and boy have I had to learn how to deal with my energy like you when you've got a big energy and when you pick up everything in spirit and soul it overwhelms when we're not aware that we need to anchor back in and own that energy for ourselves firstly hey Our passion, our excitement, it's pulled back now. They've had every opportunity. The slate for you needs to be, you need to see a clear slate now. Allow yourself between now and the 21st for a clear slate of energies. I know you're going through a lot and I know you're releasing. On If there's anger, write, release, feel, release. See what you're angry about. Identify it. Bring it into your conscious awareness to release it. Forgiveness of yourself and others. I'm at that. I'm halfway through that. I had difficulty, and I shared that in another live recently, in a couple of people of forgiveness close to me from years ago. It could either be birth family. It can be a spiritual family. It can be adoptive family. It can be anything that is what is considered a family energy for you that even I was not able to release of not forgiving I was struggling so I'm halfway through in that forgiveness because I know I need to forgive myself and others for me to grow further and that's enough for me to rise above that bullshit within myself of being angry with that person because also bored on the Libra you don't uh, scars of justice and a blu-ray with the bullshit blu-ray energies so I'm learning how to finally forgive as part of the new energies to the planet 
in forgiveness for family unity energies. That's why I'm remaining right here with you all and being open, honest and revealing what's happening. I'm not up on that stage and I'm thankful, by the way. I want you to know I've completely flipped that. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful I'm not. I'm so happy to be here and remain with you of what has been behind the scenes and understanding we're bringing something up out new and I'm really blessed and I'm really happy with that. Oh, Felix. <laughs> yeah, you too. So this morning, and it was given to me like this. This was the vision. This was the information. A ladder. Stay with me in this moment. Feel this. A ladder and the top rung. And they said, you're rung number 11. It's interesting. I'm a master number 11. My name equals 11. I was in the military 11 years, 11 months. I live at number 11. And other souls in humanity with what I'm bringing through, that I'm picking up, that I am alone in that. Yes, I am. See, it's different to loneliness. I am alone because I've learned. And it was others at level at rank six or seven or ten and then it's about that opening up and wanting others to be that level with us it's the head in between that can block for souls is the message it's about looking for that connection looking for a closer connection with the divine and within ourselves and closing off more from others energies of having our rung energy exposed. Remember, we need to contain our personal energy or, or keep our hard hearts to ourselves. And the divine. Further is the best way I can say this. This is real for here and now. The anger, feel it once. Express it, recognize it. With the loneliness, feel it. I felt it in that moment, I acknowledged it. I felt it once before when I realized that epiphany moment, there's no one else bringing through. I was looking for someone else I could go. And so see, I'm that mirror of a mirror for divine for others now. And, but learning you're a mirror of the divine in bringing something new firstly. Yeah, that was an interesting thing, experience to have and go through and realizing that. And anchoring the human being of being raw and real here and now I'm being an everyday common person as well and not holding big events somewhere on stages and yes I did at Uluru but the saying you know how are you going to really reach people if you're out there so i need to be right here with you and that's why right as always i am right here with you it's all about me remember this is the beyond i'm getting a wind up already 43 i'm starting to get the wind up energies okay let me keep going um these are the beyond beyond energies the old spiritual information cycles <laughs> and spirit said uh, has been energetically the uh, those that are continuing to share the old ascension energy updates will fall away what that is is an example is ascension glossary and what's being written that I'm taking bits as guided breaking it down sharing with you here verbalizing voicing newly for the first time in raw and realness and people saying i don't fully understand but i get somewhere on some level i get it i say that's enough or i watch this and my whole energy for the rest of the day felt lighter that's enough i'm not here for fucking popularity is and 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 numbers in that way i'm here for souls feeling of the divine and awakening and i'm content and i'm happy and that needs to be enough for us all let go of all else let go of the shackles and the change of the pressure and the old biblical energies we're out close those old religious 
masculine tyranny, victim and victimizer energies. Close those books. It's not about that. It's all about love, unconditional love and your consciousness in new unity energies right here and now with you and me here leading for the next seven days. I want you to have a rest. I want you to inside yourself have a rest consciously allow yourself to offload all the past year or this year and just knowing that in heading to the 21st the 12th it's not an end zone it, it, it's not a oh i know you know this i've got to take the piss out of it it's it's not a all is going to be fine on the 21st and this that it is an opening it's a solstice it's a most powerful time absolutely fucking lutely that's what i'm excited about because we needed this energy to move so many of us we can't shift where we're from until the 21st energies come so give yourself a break in seven days these seven days and everything you're going through when that energy comes what will happen is this subtle shift of a freeing of energies for you to continue Linking your spirit to soul through your emotions, voicing, talking, tabling, speaking up, writing, protecting your energies. All of that is con continues. It's 21st and the 12th and beyond. You who? It's a benchmark of an energetic shift of a revolution energy. It's a revolution of new freedom, of free of domination. It will be coming through firstly with the anchoring with the Pleiadians and the Inangu and the elders and the Aboriginal prophecy and you and me and we so I just want to say I'm going to keep talking finish off but thank you for being here because you know how I go off suddenly thank you for coming thank you thank you thank you for today see you on the 21st okay and as a grandmother caretaker energy for the whole planet and all the tribes as an original for the Aboriginals Australia for the grief and suffering and everything the divine mother love is what we have for all in one place right here and now anchoring in the human being and it starts with you loving you and I have so much love for you that I see all your isms and your warts and all and your bits and your imperfections and your shadows and I love all of you. I want you to be kind to you and be conscious of your hidden shadow bits and what you whisper to yourself secretly in your shadow spaces and I want you to pay attention and notice and give yourself a fucking break because you so deserved it. We've earned it. We've made it. We've arrived. Yeah. Who? I want you to feel that energy, that passion and joy in that alone, that celebration. We really have made it here. And that is not to be missed because it's all about the little things. And don't sweat the small stuff. Okay? Bless you. Thank you for being here as well. Love you, love you, love you. Non non action. Gateway. Beautiful. Thank you. I look forward to you on the 21st. I do not know if I'm going to do a random flash live before then. Who knows? But for seven days, ease up, rest, recover, and let's just meet up on YouTube, Anastasia, Blue Beyond Guide, and let's just hang out together. Let's have fun, lighten it up. We've done this before coming together and just... <sighs> enjoy the achievement of what we are reaching and beyond beyond i love you bye thank you